Scientists are forecasting ice melting temperatures in the middle of winter for some parts of the Arctic for the second year in a row. An analysis shows such recent record temperatures there would have been virtually impossible without human greenhouse emissions. The five-day forecast maximum temperatures over the Arctic from Tuesday 20 December 2016. Over the coming days, some parts of the Arctic are expected to get gusts of warm air that are more than 20 C hotter than usual for this time of year, some of which will tip over the 0 C melting temperature of water. Maximum temperatures in parts of the Arctic will be warmer than the maximum over most of Canada for the next five days, according the Global Forecasting System which is run by the United States National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA. The extreme temperatures predicted coincide with record low sea ice levels in the Arctic, which have already been wreaking havoc with weather in North America, Europe and Asia, according to leading climate scientists. A low-pressure system near Greenland is pulling the warm air towards the Arctic, in a similar pattern to that seen in 2015. And a paper published this month showed events like that, called midwinter warming, were occurring more frequently, and made more likely by the loss of winter sea ice something itself caused by climate change. With less ice, warm air moved closer to the Arctic and could then more easily be swept over it, the scientists claimed. Surge in methane threatens climate targets, scientists say while the world has been working to reduce carbon emissions to combat climate change, there's been a troubling spike in another dangerous gas. Methane levels in the atmosphere are rising faster than at any point in the past two decades, according to new research. The findings are presented by the newly released Global Methane Budget published Monday part of an effort by 100 international scientists to understand just how much methane is rising, and why. While methane is less prevalent in our atmosphere than carbon dioxide, according to a statement from the Global Carbon Project, it traps 28 times more heat. Robert Jackson, a co-author of the report and Stanford University professor, said, I think people should be concerned. At the same time we are trying to stabilize carbon dioxide emissions, methane is heading in the opposite direction. It is dire, he added. Due to global warming, and increased moisture creating larger than ever storms. Landslides will become deadly. New York, Boston and Miami could all be struck by the monster wave, while Central and South American tourist hotspots like the Bahamas, Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago would also in the firing line. Dr. Simon Day said a landslide in the Canary Islands could send the huge wave speeding thousands of miles across the Atlantic to the Americas. The increasingly unstable Cumbervija volcano could dump a chunk of land the size of the Isle of Man into the ocean triggering a mega tsunami with deadly consequences. While it could send a 10-foot wave heading towards the United Kingdom and the south coast of Ireland, Dr. Day said the real damage will be done in the densely populated cities of the United States of America's eastern seaboard. He said, a wave could curve towards Britain, depending on the power, but it will have the biggest impact on the Americas. Hello, welcome to Echo News. Breaking environmental news. Due to global warming and rising earth temperatures, hundreds of people have been evacuated from Gatlinburg, Tennessee, after several wildfires swept through the Great Smoky Mountain National Park on Monday night. Strong winds filled the air with smoke as the 14 fires surrounded the town. Authorities said around 100 homes were affected. Is California, known as the Golden State? turning, into the arid state. As the lingering drought in California has killed more than 100 million trees, according to the United States Forest Service's latest aerial survey. The recent death count found that 62 million trees have died just this year in California, bringing the six-year total to more than 102 million. More than five years of drought are to blame for the tree deaths, scientists said, adding that tree fatalities increased by 100% in 2016. While die-off is expected under drought conditions, the rate of the forest's death is faster than scientists expected, according to United States Forest Service USFS officials. The agency said that millions of additional trees are expected to die in the coming months and years. California's drought has affected 7.7 million acres of forests, putting the region's whole ecology at risk, the scientists said. Scientists who assess the planet's health see indisputable evidence that Earth has been getting warmer in some cases rapidly. Most believe that human activity, 
in particular the burning of fossil fuels and the resulting buildup of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, have influenced this warming trend. As man's insatiable greed for stuff, has been growing in the past decade. Scientists have documented record high average annual surface temperatures and have been observing other signs of change all over the planet, in the distribution of ice, and in the salinity, levels, and temperatures of the oceans. This glacier used to be closer, declares this polar bear. Amazon deforestation on the increase again after years of improvement. The Amazon rainforest is being destroyed at an increasingly rapid rate, according to an annual study of satellite measurements conducted by the Brazil's National Institute for Space Research. In late November, the National Institute for Space Research released data showing that nearly 8,000 square kilometers of Amazon rainforest were lost to clear-cutting between August 2015 and July 2016. The loss was 29% greater than the year before when 6,207 square kilometers were cleared largely as the result of clear-cutting for crops, cattle raising and illegal logging operations. The increased rate of deforestation over the past two years is particularly worrisome because it represents a reversal of a decreasing trend that began in 2004 when the Brazilian government implemented anti-deforestation policies.